Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2016 Fan Tag Challenge in questions. Um, I was challenged by Crispy Card. Uh, I am going to challenge Biggie Dude, Bad Lad Dad, and... Well, Bad Lad Dad and Ninja Boy, for that matter, and, uh... Uh, Sunny D. Um, the questions are... Number one, the, how long have I been a... How long have you been a wrestling fan? Well, I have been a wrestling fan since the... Mid-90s. I was never truly... I, I always watched WCW. I never... At that point, I never heard of the WWF until Owen Hart passed away. Um, question number two, favorite superstar, favorite superstar past and present, past, Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, present, uh, Dean Ambrose right now, and, uh, in NXT, Finn Balor, and, uh, oh yeah, I can't, you can't forget about AJ Styles. Uh, number three, favorite diva. I can't really say I have a favorite diva because every time I pick a favorite diva, they leave <laughs> for some odd reason. Uh, past Trish Stratus because everybody liked Trish Stratus back then because uh, a she was beautiful. Uh, right now, Sasha now Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Bailey. Um, number four. One independent wrestler you'd like to see the go to uh, the WWE or NXT. Um, but you, uh, they pretty much got them all now. But if I had to pick, I wanted to, I want to see either the tag team of the Briscoes or Jay Lethal. Number five. How many WrestleManias have I been to? I have been to none. The one I would like to go back to and relive? WrestleMania 20 when Chris Benoit won the title for the first time. Number 6. The next NXT superstar to be called up to the main roster. Well, you're already... For this, the 2016 year, you're already going to get Sami Zayn... Uh, you're going to get possibly Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Those are the three picks I have right now. Sami Zayn, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe. Um, Dream WrestleMania match. Make this happen. AJ Styles versus John Cena. And that was, uh, that was number seven on, uh, by the way. Number eight. Favorite non-WWE promotion, um, when I can watch it, ROH in New Japan. Lucha Underground's pretty good. Uh, TNA is pretty good. Uh, Number nine, favorite wrestling style. Uh, submission, uh, technical, submission wrestling. Number ten. How many shows have I attended? Um, not that many, but not, uh, not a few either. I've, the last one I've been to, I've been to, uh, 2CW, I've been to a SmackDown, I've been to, uh, a Smack, sorry, SmackDown Live, I've been to multiple house shows, uh, I've been to WCW house shows, um, so I'm gonna get maybe about five or six of them, I would love to go to more, um, which pay-per-view do you want to see them bring back? 
That's a good question. I like Backlash. I've liked uh, the King of the Ring. Uh, I've I liked. Uh, you know, I'm not stuttering. I'm just thinking. Uh, I liked the Great American Bash when they had it. That was my all-time favorite. Not the WCW one, but the uh, the WWE one. <coughs> Which they need to bring back some of these pay-per-views in my opinion. Because, I'm sorry, all these names of the the main event in them kind of sucks. Like, I can see the concept of a Hell in a Cell, of the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Elimination Chamber. Uh, possibly the Money in the Bank. But, quite frankly, you do not need Extreme Rules. You already got TLC. You don't need TLC because that's just that's just one match they're going to do and that's the main event. Um but your top name matches or sorry, your your mat like your matches like the Hell in a Cell and all that stuff don't need to be a name in a pay-per-view. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh except for like uh, like I said, uh Money in the Bank. But even now that they have only one company or like one show and one title they don't even really need money in a bank that should be on a that should be what it was when it debuted a wrestlemania match um number 12 will we ever see nxt take over smackdown or raw smackdown or a pay-per-view mm. As in, as in uh, the, the WWE stars doing the Nexus, or sorry, the NXT stars doing Nexus uh, type stuff, or WWE or NXT doing matches on Raw, SmackDown, pay per view wise. I'd like to see that. The second part, nobody needs another Nexus. Uh. Number 13, will Daniel Bryan ever have another match? No. No, he will not. He has cut ties with the WWE altogether. He was released officially from his contract that night. Um, number 14, do you consider... Do you consider TNA as the number two or any other promotion? Um, Number two... Um, it depends. It depends on what Raw has done the day before. Since uh, I can watch TNA now on Tuesday nights. TNA and WWE has their own stupid ideas. And they bounce be between one another being stupid or worse. Um, because I can't even count WWE as the number one anymore. Because of their stupidity. There's there's weeks that Raw is number one. There are weeks where TNA is number one. So my my answer is they balance each other out. One week the one company will be number one. Next week another company will be the number one. So there is not really a number two team or a number two uh, ranked company. Um. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh, Dream Match. Uh, no, no, that was Dream Match. This is Dream Location. Um, I can see them being in the, either the Tokyo Dome or uh, or uh, the other or the other uh, Japanese uh, dome because I know. The great was it the Great Hall in Japan, wherever they have the two most uh, biggest uh, wrestling matches. I know Tokyo Dome is one of them, and I think Japan has another one. Those are my answers. The two major ones in Japan. Um, favorite favorite WWE. 
Oh, action, uh, Mattel action figure. Um, I owned a Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero, but they were all all awesome at that point in time because I played with them on a daily basis. Rather they were, rather they were action figures of wrestling, the Power Rangers. Um, ones just from movies like uh, the two guys I had from Terminator uh, and the Last Action Hero. They were. All my action figures at one point in time were wrestlers and everything like that. But as an action figure, once you're, since you're a kid, you like to play with them a lot and they break. Just ask my nephew. He had a Lita, the little rubber band in the, in the, uh, that holds them together, snap. So we use super glue to super glue Lita back together. And now he never used Lita again because he was afraid he was going to break her. Um, number 17. If Triple H takes over, will the company be better or worse? Uh, my opinion, I think it's going to be better as long as you get Vince far, far away from the company. Number 18. Did John Cena bury Bray Wyatt? Yes. But not just John Cena buried Bray Wyatt. Pretty much the whole entire roster has buried Bray Wyatt. In one way, shape, or form. The WWE as a whole buried Bray Wyatt. Um, how many... Number 19, how many years does John Cena have left in him? Too many. I love John Cena, but I'm also tired of John Cena. It's a give and take. Um, if he's anything like uh, that Hulk Hogan fella that nobody knows about anymore, or never even heard of, too long. We're, we're going to see John Cena until he dies. Uh, number 20. Who is the future of the WWE? Well, right now, the old, the old men. The old men are the future. That's the way the WWE is pushing them. Because you can't really have a future of the WWE when you're not pushing your young talent. Yes, Roman will be the next John Cena, I think. Or, good God. Uh, Seth Rollins sucks as a heel. And people need to learn that. He sucks as a heel. The only reason why this heel, uh, this heel of Seth Rollins was any good is because he was in a faction called the Authority. He... When he was heel in Ring of Honor, he was in a stable called the Age of the Fall. When he is a solo competitor on his own, he sucks. But with the talent we have now, would I like to see one of the young guys as a, as the face, as the future? Yes. But with the way the WWE is portraying everything right now, we're all going to be screwed because their product is stale, dull, boring, and they like bringing back the old guys. As a wrestling fan, as a true wrestling fan, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see the Dudleys there. I don't want to see Matt and Jeff come back. Good God. They're old. I don't want to see The Undertaker there anymore. Don't want to see Kane there anymore. Who is the big show anyway? He was a never was when he first joined. Um. Mark Henry needs to go. Oh. Uh, they need to get better commentary. So, I 
I'm actually going to actually add to this my personal thing. It's not on the board, but number 21. If you could pick a superstar to come back, who would it be? Mine is CM Punk. I have been Fireproof. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.